and that's two runs today that we did on Dolly for some bullshit money, but turned out to be good money because mm -hmm. of the extra work on top of it. And then on top of that, networking. And on top of that, networking. Good point, brother. So, as far as what he means by that is, Shorty is a, let me get out the red zone. Shorty is a, uh, What's good? It's your boy Nine, and I'm back with another vlog, baby. It's early in the morning. It's 46 degrees outside. To me, that's cold as hell, man. I don't do the cold no more. Anyhow, getting up, getting to another dollar. Well, I actually got to, about to go spend some dollars now. I'm gonna start this morning off by getting the oil change and um. I don't have no no business, man. I ain't got no junkie moves or no moves on the schedule until the 30th. So it's a straight hustle until then. You feel me? I'll have to get this oil changed. I'll check back in with y'all in a little bit. Peace. All right, fam. I just wanted to... I left my camera in the car like a dumbass. They doing an oil change on my shit right now. You see it in the back. But they also rent uh, U-Hauls here at this location, right? And this guy came, got his U-Haul, he jumped in there, get ready to pull off, he starts it up, that motherfucker loud as hell, gee, it's like real loud, like, it, it's straight piped or something. So, the uh, the owner of the shop, or the manager of the shop ran out, stopped dude before he pulled off, and he came back, I'm like, yo, what's up with that? Like, I never heard a U-Haul truck sound like that. He said, somebody stole the cat. These motherfuckers just stole the cat off a truck off a U-Haul truck right there. They stole a cat off a U-Haul truck in the middle of the night. He said the customers brought that shit back last night or yesterday evening and it was working fine. So this guy behind me, uh, he goes to go start it up and the cat's gone. Cold blooded. The manager was saying that this has been happening a lot lately. He said, so when Buddy started it up and it sounded like a fucking tractor, <laughs> he knew exactly what it was. He knew where to go look at. I watched him too. He walked, he went straight to it, looked up under there. That bitch is gone. Ooh, wee. Tell you, man. Sign, like he said, sign of the times, though. People hurting out here. All right, y'all. I'm almost done. So I'll check back in later, y'all. Peace. All right, fam. Got a little downtime. Uh, I'm gonna run with bro to the store. But I need y'all to get in the comments. You see this bad boy right here? Get in the comments and tell him to start driving that motherfucker. That's not even what I said. See? It don't matter. It don't matter. I, I know it's coming off your brain. <laughs> niggas, be, niggas that know me know I be talking shit. <laughs> Well, anyway, get in the comments, y'all. <laughs> Check back in with y'all later. <laughs> yeah, we're going to Encinitas to go do a dolly run. So I went from no runs today to at least a dolly. And you know how I feel about the dollies. They good, decent little cheese, you feel me? Be decent little cheese for, you know, small moves and stuff. But more importantly, I pass out business cards. And... People be mad appreciative and shit because a lot of people that use this type of stuff be needing these services again. So they can hit me up directly or yeah, they can hit me up directly. That's why I give them the car. So anyway, anywho, me and brother J family, buddy that got that car, that badass car that's sitting there and shit. We getting ready to uh I'll let y'all in a minute. All right, family just pulled up to Dick Sporting Goods, picking up a treadmill for transportation. Maybe to help me find hook myself on the car. Please fuck you. I got to go check in with them. Y'all don't need to come with me. Let me go see what they talking about. What's up, man? Oh, uh, yeah 
County over here in Encinitas, they got some whips, baby. Get that thing over here. Disney thing over there. Goals right there, baby. Gold. This is why I like doing these dollies. It gets me in front of different people and gets me in areas that I wouldn't normally be in. I ain't, I've been in San Diego for a long time, man. I ain't never been up here. I've been to Encinitas, but I ain't never rode around, you know, on the innards of it. Like, man, these houses, bruh. Stupid. They got driveways the size of parking lots. You feel driveways. Me? So driveways. Like you can actually drive on the driveway. You don't just park on the driveway. You feel me? You gotta get your <laughs> car or or ride a bicycle to your mailbox type stuff. Yeah, that part. <laughs> that part. Yeah. Anyway, I just want to share that with y'all. This Range Rover thing. We seeing Maseratis, Finagle whips, as a tall guy and Mr. Organic call them. Finagle whips. With Finagle whips. <laughs> But uh, Benz, Benz, yeah, bro, it's money up here. Money, money, goals. One of our buddies stops me and say, I got a jump removal for you. So I say, I should check my schedule, see if we can do it. But let me see, I'll be right back. That's exactly what I fuck I be talking about, y'all. Exactly what I be talking about. You put your, be giving out business cards, and buddy ain't let me get out, out the um, front of his house before he called me. He's like, hey, I got some work for you. So we just finished up loading that up, as y'all can see right here in this clip. It took all about 20, 30 minutes or so. It probably took us longer to strap it down and get in the back of the truck than we did to remove it all. It's a bunch of cardboard. These are times of continuous. A bunch of cardboard and like a headboard and some bullshit. Something lightweight, easy. And he tipped us $50 each. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I ain't look at the dollar yet. He said he tipped us on there too, so. Man, nice little chunk of changes. Right. And we came up on, what's that, uh, weed eater? Weed blower, a gas blower. A weed blower and an um, igloo cooler. Lightweight need both of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. He just gave it to us on the strength. Perfect timing, baby. Shit. Yeah. Where we gotta go? <laughs> Long like a love. Like, you know, uh, lost in Caucasian. Oh. That's not a good place to be lost. Hold on. Let me put it on mine. All right, y'all, this, this battery finna die, so I'm about to plug it rip. Now, I'll let y'all later. Peace. Fam, we back. We got another dolly for the day. It's nothing but moving the tape. And the spot we going to got an elevator. So, quick, easy move. Not a lot of money. But then again, I am getting paid to market my shit, my business. So, it is what it is at this point. Anything to say? Peace, family. <laughs> <laughs> Suck at night. GoPro suck at night. You feel me? This shit give me anxiety being this hot though. For real, bro. Damn, hell no, I'm going straight. <laughs> What yeah. up, fam? <laughs> Hopefully you can see my black ass at night. Nighttime is dark than the motherfucker, and these GoPros suck at night. But anyway, we had this dolly was to move a table. What was it? Three miles? Five? About five miles? Let's call mm -hmm. it five miles. Um, 
So we get it all loaded up. The people come and they tell us that the job is to take this table to point A to point B, set it up, take a picture, send it to the owner of the crib, see if he likes it or not, and then bring take then bring the table back. So I informed him that the app only had us going from point A to point B. There was no B to C, C to D, none of that. Um, so we worked it out on the side, you know what I mean? He slid me a little bit of cash. He doubled up on what um, what he paid Dolly. Not what we got paid from Dolly, but he doubled up on what he paid Dolly. And that's two runs today that we did on Dolly for some bullshit money. But turned out to be good money because mm -hmm. of the extra work on top of it. And then on top of that, networking. And on top of that, networking. Good point, brother. So, as far as what he means by that is, Shorty is a, let me get out the red zone. Shorty is a uh, interior designer. So she's always needing people in trucks and shit to move shit. So we in there. She said, we hired. I told her we got a truck. Dust came back. He said, yeah, you got two trucks and a trailer. <laughs> yeah, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. Right. So she said, yeah, we hired. Man, this is how we going to start off the motherfucking new year, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's get Later, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe button, all that. For real though, y'all be bullshitting with that, man. Get I know, cause I know some of y'all be watching it from your TV and you ain't signed in. If you at home, sign in on the TV and give me a thumbs up button, motherfucker.